Hi, my name is Katie Maxey, and I'm a registered dietitian with Brenner Fit. Here at Brenner Fit, we like to talk about five, four, three, two, one, zero. Those numbers stand for five servings of fruits and vegetables each day, four meals together as a family each week, three meals each day, two hours of screen time a day, one hour of physical activity each day, and then zero sugar-sweetened beverages a day. Today I want to highlight the number three. That's three meals each day, trying not to skip meals throughout the day. This is very important for many different reasons. First, if you eat your meals and eat regularly throughout the day, it helps your body's metabolism. Your body relies on calories going in throughout the day. And so if your body is not sure when the next meal is coming, it can mess up your metabolism. It also helps to regulate your hunger and fullness when you have regular meals throughout the day. If you skip a meal, for example, if you skip lunch, you may come to dinner very hungry. You then eat very fast. It's hard to choose a balanced plate and have fruits and vegetables when you're that hungry, and you tend to overeat. So in turn, skipping meals will actually cause us to gain weight versus helping us to lose weight. The one meal that many people skip throughout the day is breakfast. People may not be hungry at breakfast, or they're rushing to get out of the door to get to school or get to work, or they may think that they have to eat a very hot, cooked, warm breakfast, so they avoid doing that at all because they don't have time to cook. I want to tell you a little bit about breakfast today and how easy it is to get breakfast in. Breakfast doesn't have to be a warm, hot, cooked meal, but it also doesn't have to be cereal, which is the other option most people go towards. With breakfast, we talk about trying to aim for three food groups. This can be any three food groups, but typically it tends to be a protein, a grain, and a fruit. Most people don't eat vegetables at breakfast, so if you can get at least those three food groups in, it helps to fill you up and last until the next meal or snack. So there can be a variety of breakfast items to choose from. These are some examples of breakfast items. We have dried cereal with yogurt and grapes. So instead of just having cereal with milk, you could eat dried cereal and put it in your yogurt and then have grapes on the side. That's three food groups to help fill you up. Another option is to have like a sausage biscuit. And this is actually a Morningstar Farms breakfast sausage patty. We put it on a whole wheat English muffin, and then we served it with an apple. Again, we have three food groups, our grain, our protein, and an apple, our fruit. Another idea is to have a boiled egg. That's a great source of protein. And instead of fresh fruit, you're welcome to have dried fruit, and then maybe fix a bowl of oatmeal to go on the side. Some people will even put their dried fruit in their oatmeal. Now, if you want something very quick that you have to walk out of the door, and eat, then maybe choose a fruit that's edible to walk out of the door, such as an apple or a banana. Then you could pair it with a granola bar, which would be your grain, and to add some protein into the mix, you could do string cheese or any other type of cheese. These are some great options to have for breakfast, and they all provide three food groups. A lot of people also, if you're not used to eating breakfast, it's hard for you to actually go to three food groups and eat breakfast. You don't have to do that either. Maybe you start with just the banana or just the string cheese. Your body will naturally begin to get more hungry the more you regulate your meals and you continue to have at least one food group in the morning. Eventually, you'll find yourself eating two food groups and maybe even three food groups. So making sure you have all three meals each day is very important, helps with our metabolism, helps us to get the right amount of nutrients and calories in throughout the day, and helps with controlling our hunger and fullness. Thank you for watching this video on three meals a day.